This is Monique with your daily sunshine. Right now, really quickly, I want to talk about stress. Stress can show up in your body many different ways. I like to think about it as the experiment where you see the, you know, the first first frame, they have the frog and they put the frog in the hot pan and then they, you know, the frog jumps out because it's too hot. But then they place the frog in the cold pan and then slowly start to warm the pan up. You don't realize, the frog doesn't realize it's cooking because it's been a slow and gradual. And that's almost like I relate stress to. Sometimes you don't really, sometimes you can really feel, oh my God, I'm stressed out. But sometimes things have been slowly being put on, being put on your plate. It's like, it just keeps going and going and going and you're slowly cooking yourself and your body kind of reacts in different ways. For me, I lost my hair. Um, it was 2012, a number of things were going on and dad was going through radi radiation. Um, radiation for him was every day, it was every day for like it was like 40, 50 treatments, and it was every day at, I think his appointment was at like 12, 31 o'clock. Every day he was there. Sometimes I could make it, sometimes I couldn't, um, but it was a lot going on the, that year. So for me personally, um, and then going through that whole cancer scare, it it put a, it put a toll on me. Um, I just remember combing my hair it had to be July. He stopped treatment in like May and it had to be July and I just combed my hair back and I remember reaching and there was my my hair was really this um this length and I was like, "Oh my god." No, but the rest of my hair was long and it was just this patch that was short and I I was like, "Wow." So yeah, stress can can um, can show up in different ways. So what you need to do is make sure that you're offsetting. Your body is so much you can put in and not have a, a release. So make sure that you're kind of pacing yourself. You're doing things. I know we talked about meditation and, um, you know, detoxing and cleansing. But also sometimes you need other outlets. Maybe it's going for a walk. Um, maybe it's finding a hobby, crocheting, knitting, just something else that you have that will kind of de-stress and take and put that energy that you have built up that you don't realize it's built up. You're putting it in, I guess, a more constructive way. We just don't know how much we put on our plate until we start taking things off or, we have a little crisis that we're like, wow, I didn't realize I was stressed. Um, but it's there. We just have to know how to better manage it. This is Monique with your Daily Sunshine.